lives in Cecil County decided to move his business there. He did it on a leap of faith. In tonight's Bridging the Gap, WMAR 2 News Kelly Swoop takes us to Elkton to see how things have changed and how perception is no longer a reality for one gym owner. Swing through all the way up, press. While pushing you to pump it up. Nice. And smiling from <laughs> ear to ear, Bernie Sebus's mild-mannered message of fitness feet, hasn't feet, changed, but his location has. The way that we ingratiated in the community so quickly, beyond my expectation, so I love it. Legs up, legs up, legs up, hold them. Sevis is not new to fitness. On the bell. But he is new to the fitness scene in Elkton. Jumping Jack. He lives in Cecil County, and last year moved his business closer to home. You know, for over eight years, I trained in the White Marsh, Middle River, Nottingham area, and so uh, leaving that and coming to the unknown, that was a, definitely a, a step of faith. And he named it accordingly, Faithful Fitness. You know, Faithful Fitness in itself is just saying, I'm going to go when I want to, I'm going to go when I don't want to. I've made a commitment to myself, I made a commitment to my family to get better, and so this is the way that I'm going to do it. One, one. The boxing gym offers all-around fitness and has been up and running officially since September. He is one of only a few black business owners in Cecil County. You know, the stereotype for this area has been one thing, but I've experienced the opposite, so. The stereotype of problems with racism and discrimination are based on decades-old history of the KKK once being very present in the county. Is the KKK still active here? Not to my knowledge, and have not been for decades. Mike Dixon, an historian who was born and raised in Cecil County, says they've made some progress. The times have changed, the nature of the community, more people move here, just like you were talking about, you've had friends move here. That brings a, a, a different time. Laws and norms have changed. Mm -hmm. But as Maryland changed, the county just kind of advanced right along. And Sevis agrees. At Faithful Fitness, they're taking it one step at a time and will continue to move forward. Step out into a place that's uncomfortable and be your authentic self. And, and, and see what kind of response you get. I'm, I believe you get the same response I did because um, yeah, it's been beyond my, my wildest expectations. Six, five. In Cecil County, Kelly Swoop, WMER 2 News. One and time.